Hey everyone, um, just wanted to talk about uh, USB chargers today um, uh, after a few recent experiences. Um, a long, long time ago, I bought this, which is a Power Monkey, um, which has an internal uh, battery, which is <laughs> very likely a 18650 battery. Um, this is a few years old now. I don't use it anymore because it's actually not that very not that good. Um, it gives you a USB charger. It's, it's only 500 milliamps, so I tend not to use it because it's, it's it's just awkward. It's horrible with this wire and this stupid adapter. On. I don't understand why it's done like that. So uh, recently, because I went on holiday to Japan, uh, I wanted to take a, a large USB charger with me um, to help top up my phones, tablets, etc. So on um, after watching Julian um, Elette's uh, video about um, this charger. I went out and bought this one um, and bought some nice um, Panasonic cells. These, they're actually um, XTAR ones, but uh, they actually use Panasonic cells. So I bought, um, actually ended up buying four of these, three for the charger, and I've got a spare one. Um, so they, those were the 3100 milliamp hour batteries. So I managed to uh, use and test this a shortly um, before I left to go to Japan. Um, I did have a few concerns with it. Um, I noticed after a full charge, um, and it stops drawing, stops drawing current during charging, that the batteries never even reached um, 4.2 volts, um, which surprised me. I, I noticed this because after a start, after a full charge, I'd start to use it and it would drop to three. Um, three bars really quickly. Um, so uh, I sort of did a bit of testing and found that the that it wasn't charging the batteries fully. Um, they never even got to 4.2 volts um, and never went into the um, constant voltage phase of the charging cycle. So um, although this works, uh, I'm not getting the full capacity that uh, I should be getting out of this. So. Um, but I took it away with me anyway because it's all I had. Um, it was um, pretty useful. Um, I'll have to um, do some further investigation into why it's not charging those batteries fully. It, there's a possibility that um, these cells have um, built-in protection. Um, now, from Julian's video, I know that this actually has protection in anyway. So I wonder whether it's because the the double battery protection might be causing an issue but um, that's for a future video on that one so while I was in Japan I came across these which are exactly the same thing but it's a Panasonic branded Japanese make um, and they're quite reasonably priced so I picked up a few of these um, they come in a few different uh, a few different versions um, the, this is a single cell one which is 2900 milliamp hour um, and the other good thing is it's Panasonic so I can bet you a dollar it's using Panasonic cells um, so there's this version um, there's this version available with QI charging um, so you can charge it wirelessly on a QI, QI pad um, there's also this version which is a, a two cell version of the, of the smaller one. Um, this is slightly different because it actually provides two USB outputs which I'll show you in a moment. Um, now this one, um, I, I bought both of these in Yodobashi um, in Tokyo. Um, this one came out to about £11. This one came out to um, just under £15, I think it was like £14.90 or something like that. So, really good value considering um, this, the the actual case with all the electronics in cost a fiver and each of the cells cost about £10 each. Um, so that's 35 quid for this one which doesn't actually really work very well compared to 15 quid for one, yeah sure it's slightly lower capacity but it's um, it's really good quality unit, I've been using it quite a bit and it works really really well 
um, I think this is off offers much better value for money um, and um, I know the electronics are better in it because it's, you know, it's made in Japan by a good quality Japanese make so, right, so I'll just give you a quick guided tour around these um, I said these are two versions single cell and double cell there is actually more of these um, out there um, slightly different versions um, start getting a bit more expensive um, they're all Panasonic um, there are a few other makes as well actually in, that are available in Japan uh, from the likes of Sony and Toshiba I think I might have seen as well um, so anyway this the small one um, this is all in Japanese but it's pretty decipherable anyway um, you've got 500 here that's going to be the number of charge cycles you get out of it um, you got uh, the charging so 5 volt in that will be um, half an amp charging on USB or one amp charging on an AC adapter um, the output um, that's 5 volt 1 amp the battery capacity size etc now the um, the really neat thing about these is that they're just so self-contained um, it's nice and easy to use it um, it doesn't automatically turn on like like this one does which I actually prefer to be honest I prefer to have control over things like that so I just want it to be on or off. Um, the nice thing about these is you can either have a standard USB output or you can have this micro USB which is all built into the unit so that can go off to your phone or your tablet or whatever. Now this actually works for two um, two purposes. One is for charging whatever you want to charge off the off the unit plus you can actually also use it when you want to charge it up. So that can then plug into a USB charger and you can charge the unit up. So that uh, works really quite well. It's so it's so well designed. I just it's just fantastic. Obviously um, being Japanese only there's no CE marking on these. The, um, the light is um, green. You can actually see it here. This here is obviously going to green is going to be from 60% to 100%. Um, it goes amber when it's between 60 and 30%, and red when it's at 30% um, or below. Um, once it gets to a certain point, it does switch off automatically. Um, they also um, switch off on their own when there's no load on it so if it's been accidentally turned on they will switch off which is another nice feature so on the larger one it's a very similar setup just bigger so you've got the input charging there this is the, the a QI charging one um, this one isn't unfortunately this is just what they had in Yodo Bashi the, uh, the QI charging one has a slightly rounded base to it where the uh, charging coil is but you can't, uh, you can't see it on this one so this is a slightly larger one, same principle um, and this one actually has two USB ports on it so the, uh, the micro adapter plugs into one but also allows access to the second port as well so you can actually use two ports at the same time now the, um, the spec on the, the double one is slightly different um, because it provides 1.5 amps of output and that is shared across both ports um, so that's really good for charging uh, charging bigger things like tablets and stuff which often draw more than your know, one amp. So again, this this can be used to plug into charge. So you can plug that into a USB port somewhere. 
and recharge it. So I just wanted to show you those because I, I think they, these are lovely little products. It's a shame that we can't buy these in the UK. Um, and it's a shame that if they did, they'd probably cost quite a bit of money. You know, considering that um, that's £11 um, and this was about 15 um, it's two, two and a half thousand yen, I think, if my memory serves correctly. Which is brilliant. It's a shame we can't get stuff like this in the UK. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you on, on the next video.